It's an example of unfathomable human cruelty. Attacks by the Taliban against schoolgirls in Afghanistan simply because they are girls seeking an education. This kind of thing was considered a thing of the past, the bad old days there. But now it has apparently happened again. The story tonight from NBC's John Yang in Kabul. First, the girls complained of a strange smell. Then, one by one, came dizziness, nausea, and in some cases, unconsciousness. More than 80 girls in three different schools ended up in hospitals. Government officials suspect poison gas, the latest tactic in the Taliban's campaign of intimidation to keep girls from going to school. It happened in Kunduz province in northern Afghanistan, where Taliban activity is on the rise. 23 girls got sick on Wednesday, 47 on Saturday, and 13 yesterday. None of the illnesses was serious. Since the fall of the Taliban in 2001, the number of girls going to school has soared from about 800,000 to more than 2.2 million in 2008. 40% of school-age girls. For many Afghans, rising girls' enrollment was a proud symbol of progress. But for now, it's come to a halt. It declined last year after a disturbing 76% increase in attacks on schools. By far, most of the targets were girls. The Taliban launched an aggressive campaign of intimidation, burning schools down, gassing girls northeast of Kabul, and throwing acid in a 17-year-old girl's face as she walked to high school in Kandahar. A leading woman's rights advocate calls on religious leaders to denounce the attacks as against Islamic teachings. It's an insult to my country, it's an insult to my religion, and it is an insult to whatever we are standing for. At al Fatah Girls School in Kabul, ninth graders in this English class say attacks on girls like themselves won't stop them. I care about Afghanistan more than myself. I don't care because... Uh, Taliban is, uh, just want to uh, scare people from coming to school. Brave young girls defiantly seeking an education and a better Afghanistan. John Yang, NBC News, Kabul.